after working as a data engineer for four years i have made a lot of mistakes definitely i'll not say that i am perfect i have made a lot of mistakes some small some big but all of them taught me some valuable lessons in this video i am sharing some top three mistakes three things that should that you should never do like you should never do again if you had to restart your career in data domain that mistakes you don't do and learn from my mistakes learn from my experiences i am anurag shrivastava i have been into data domain for four years and i have been working on uh, large scale da data pipelines real time data processing cloud migrations and also have met all many people and interviewed many candidates in this data space so definitely i think so i am a good person to guide you on those things so let's start with the thing but uh, like when i look back into my career into the things there were very few things that i wish i would have avoided early on if you are a fresher a college student or even in your first job if you want to switch into data domain or even in your first job listen very carefully that is these three lessons will save you months and confusions and also the frustrations that will that will come from that side okay do 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 those things let's start with the first mistake i'll be listing all those mistakes i'll be telling you the details so that you should not get into those things so the first mistake is trying to learn every tool at once that is the very biggest mistake that i have done that is in my early days i made a mistake of trying to learn too many tools at a same time that is i i should know pandas i should know python i should know spark airflow kafka aws power bi all together that is the biggest mistake that i have done i thought more tools means more chances of getting hired but what actually happened was i ended up uh, learning all of them at a very shallow level i didn't know the depth of it i didn't know the like uh, knowledge of everything in very detail or a confidence on those tools and i couldn't build any serious project or explain anything in a deep during the interviews now always i tell people the very first thing that i tell that, that that i tell them pick any one thing and track master it and then expand it if you want to become a data engineer start with python sql and one orchestration tool be it uh, airflow or adf anything you can start with one thing and don't touch 10 of the things tons of things don't start with the tons of things those those, those things will make the uh, make your journey very difficult and don't touch 10 tools in the first month it will uh, become very overwhelming and it will be non sustainable and it will make you under confident that and because many type of rejections will be there many problems will be there don't do those mistakes the second mistake that i'll tell you that is underestimating the importance of sql i used to think that python and spark were the future and sql was very basic stuff like a bahut simple cheez hai wo cheeze to hoti hain but i when started basically when i once i started working on the real time projects and i realized that 70 to 80% about not 80% also 60 to 70% of my work was in, uh, involving writing uh, optimized sequels uh, sql queries query scripts these kind of things whether it was a data validation script whether it was a reporting script whether is what a transformation things sql is everywhere sql was everywhere so in fact i have rejected many candidates with good python skill but poor sql understanding skills so if you could go back in your career and i would say that i would start by my, I, I, if i could go back in my career i would say i would start mastering the sql deeply involving including the windows functions cts uh, joins uses of joint performance tuning and performance optimization these kind of things should i know i should know when i should uh, like I, when i would have started the things and i have already a, uh, made a boot camp also on those all things so you can also join the boot camp it is a paid boot camp definitely and i have guided many people in the previous boot camps and in the coming boot camps also i'll be guiding you so the mistake 3 comes to the mistake 3 that is not building a personal project early on my first year of the college that is first year of the college that is i rely i i relied only on the company projects to build my resume i i didn't create any personal por portfolios or github projects don't do those things and that limited my learning very much because you don't get full access on the uh, project company company projects when i finally started building my own pipelines you using open data sets i understood end to end uh, development and fetching uh, data using via, via the apis to storing it into a database to visualizing it those all things the process the full process i used uh, like, like i understood when i did th those personal projects now i always suggest to freshers and to the juniors that to build side projects so that they can even even, even if like uh, a simple etl pipelines or a simple project uh, uh, etl projects using the python uh, sql and a csv file can teach you uh, like very much it will can te teach you the depth of the etls because those problems will come those errors will come you can sort those errors and bonus 
it becomes a solid take uh, talking point in interviews definitely in interviews i ask those questions what kind of things you have worked what if you, you have made some personal projects what are it shows your learning uh, urge to learn definitely so sum up to sum up those all things first focus on the depth and not the breadth of the learning then second never ignore sequel it's the most powerful thing that you should know right now third is build your own projects even if no one is asking for them do it by yourself to for your experience for your learning these three uh, three lessons changed my life and how i approach the learnings and career growth let me know in the comments definitely if you have made these mis mistakes already you can sort it out right now i'll suggest you how to fix it 100 percent and if you do, don't forget to subscribe with this particular channel because i have been posting many videos on data domain and my learnings and my experiences and guiding people definitely please uh, subscribe it and like the video and comment it down if you find this video uh, informative thank you so much for watching this, this particular video if you want to join my boot camp please join it right away link is in the description do it right away thank you so much bye bye